So because, so because I'm a press, completely. <laughs> So you know, I decided to get some wood putty to fill up the little holes in the wood that I have, you know, where the nails went in, and then maybe use it in conjunction with the caulk in little areas like this, right, that I got to fill in. So I got some, and I got it on the same day I got this wood stain, which clearly has, you know, the replacement for the gun stock, and it has the color. So clearly I did a good job when I bought it, because those are identical, yeah, 100% identical, except that they're not. And also, bonus, this was open, so, um, no goop. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think I have the receipt anymore, so I guess I'm just out that fucking three bucks or four bucks or however much that was, and not even the right color, so, I mean, I guess I can use it for something maybe someday. I'll smoke it or something, probably. Get a good chew chop it. Fuck's sake, so because, so because I'm a press, so because I'm a press, so because I'm a procrastinator, my wood is still not done, and because I am a fucking goof, I just fucking went to swat a live fly that was flying around and knocked off my goddamn fly strip that I've been hanging here for. Look, there's the hole. How you doing? And so now this is a sticky icky, so look, what do you gotta do? You gotta put some olive oil on it, right? This is the only way you're gonna get this shit to, to lift up. That's a little bit of olive oil. This did you, oh my God, look at it. It's fucking golden. Then we'll just come over it with a little simple grain. A little simple grain, clean off the olive oil. I can't believe I went through my entire life not knowing this before the existence of the internet and my smart wife who decided to fucking look it up one time as I'm clipping layers of skin off to get rid of the super glue because it drives me fucking bonkers when it's on my fingers and uh, you know, I cannot function. So uh, I have to clip it off until it's gone, until I can't feel it anymore, which has been my modus operandi for fucking years. And, oh, lighting is probably dick. Is that any better? Oh, can you see something now? Oh, I apologize now that the process is completely fucking finished almost. So yeah, I hit something. I realized I hit something. I'm like, what the fuck did I hit? I'm like, oh shit, that was, uh, that was that fly thing. And now I bet you I must have sticky on my shirt somewhere too, right? Surely, surely I got the sticky. Sticky on my shirt. No sticky on the shirt. Well, that's a fucking miracle. Okay, so that's your trick. But yeah, 40 years of fucking clipping skin off when I could have just been, uh, excuse me, investing in some olive oil. Oh, the kitchen's still fucking not clean. There's that fly. Santum. Santum, I did. Yeah, I know it says 409, but it's not. It's simple green. Buy it at the Home Depot, it's in the big gallon bottle or other places potentially, and it's supposed to be a lot better for the environment and for your body. You know, not as many. I think it's, I think it's mostly organic. Is that, is that right? I'm making that up? I don't know. I know a mechanic, a main mechanic in San Diego. Not my best friend, but my actual main mechanic that I used to pay for before I knew, my, before I knew Yayo. Uh, he swore by the stuff and it's all he had in the shop basically to clean everything. Simple green. See? Look, simple green. Hey, oh god, my elbows didn't work. All-purpose cleaner. Hey, don't. Non-toxic and biodegradable formula. 
Yolanakine. Yolanakine, that's your favorite. I love non non toxic biodegradable. Yeah. It's better than poop. Talking to you and talking to you and showing you stuff. And you know, I didn't record any of it. So get, getting close to about two years in, and I don't know how long it's been. Has it been two years? Has it been a year? I don't know how long I've been doing U-Term. Seems like two years. Chopper's out. See the chopper again. Noise back to 47 minimum. Might be 4012 for for bark socks, but uh yeah, just talking about how we gotta go get to town and get some steak for the old lady. It's been a while since she had steak, so uh We'll go get her some steak and veggies and put it on the grill and send her off to work with a good lunch. It's about time the county came out and mowed this shit. Look how much grass. Look how thick it is. Can you even saute it? Holy shit. I mean, that shit was high. It wasn't that high. Over on Brent, it's higher, high as shit on Brent, but uh, damn near my height on Brent. I mean, it's got to be four foot if it's an inch. Four foot if it's an inch. Anyway, yeah, 412, off to get steak. You gotta stop leaving my sunglasses or my glasses period in the car, I guess, because it gets about 712 degrees and my damn nose, my nose pieces are falling off. Done lost them off my other pair of glasses several times. And I just thought I did a bad job, but I just happened to have not leave, I am fucking rambling. Anyway, I can't leave in the car, son of a dick. We do gotta hurry, we don't have all the time in the world. She leaves at six and it's 3.30. So we're gonna get to town, get the groceries, get back, fire up the grill, get it cooked, get it packed, send it on our way. Y'all ready? And go! Rocks, frog, and roomaloots! Oh, and a dune buggy! That can't be legal, fucker! What are you, my neighbor? Fanny pan car, I see. Fanny pan car. The high dollar ride. Oh, Bobo, on four. Yeah. They found it for you. Oh, good. You've been out of my pocket this whole time. That's freaking awesome. I'm all about parking on the sidewalk. I did it all the time on my bike, but I'm all about parking right there in front of the fucking bench where people sit, asshole. Like, what a cocksuck. You fucking dick, dude. There's a sidewalk along the whole fucking building. You could have parked in any of it. You're going to park right the fuck in front of the bench at the old people store. To the old people store park. All right, so we got plenty of steak. I saw my parents-in-law and my son there getting some groceries, getting getting uh, getting big some insure. Oh, they got a fence around it. I guess they're finally gonna start to build. Hey, freaking kid. How you doing? He saw me looking. Yeah, he did. He saw me looking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a bad looking 250 in front of us, is it? Holy. She a little bit tall though. I think she got a bit of a lift on her. The little backup lights on the on the hitch bar. How you doing? A little backup lights on the hitch bar. Been nice. Oh, I got mail. Congratulations, Skippy. You've got mail. You've got mail. We got some fucking parking lot champions up in this bitch. Heston, Heston tractor. That probably didn't even sound that. I was too busy looking at it to even tilt the camera. You know, I've noticed, I've noticed I don't like slow drivers that don't know how to go the fucking speed limit. Holy shit, she's, uh, she's covered in slime. I guess that bitch is just oblivious and just gonna fucking go slow forever. I should have showed you the damn escapades in the parking lot. I think I ran over the fucking bush completely. Jimmy cracked corn, fucking not pull into the handicapped spot all the way behind me. Leon you know, pulls like halfway in, parks, and at an angle beside me. She parked at a half fucking angle, you know, with the fucking ass end swung into my side, and I'm trapped by the curb on the other side. So I got no way I can fucking back out without hitting one of these fucking cars. So I back straight out, pull back in, right beside the bitch up beside me on the right. Like I'm inches from her shit. And then I just crank my shit all the way to the fucking left. And it's a, one of them triple high curbs and shit, right? It's not a regular standard side curb. And so my shit's just fucking Wah! My back wheels are trying to pull me out but my front wheels are just being drugged straight back because they won't jump up on the curb. And then finally they do and I'm able to crank out of there. Everybody's heads turned in the parking lot looking at me like I'm the idiot. And I'm like, no, 
It's all of you fucktards that don't know how to park. I thought coming at fucking three some odd o'clock would be safe. But no, no. Apparently all the fucktards are out today. I told y'all about when the cops came to my house about running over the bush in my town in Texas when I was growing up. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. It wasn't me, because it really wasn't me. They come now, I'll be like, yeah, it was me. And I had good reason. Go talk to fucktard number one and fucktard number two if you need damages. Because I ain't the one, son. They'd be like, you got some proof of it? I'm like, you gotta take my word, B. You gotta take my fucking word. I didn't have the camera on. The old mutton shop don't lie. You can fuck yourself. What happened? Oh, I apologize. Oh, bit of an outburst there. Bit of a, bit of a pug one, as one might say. I had a bit of a pug one. I apologize. Actually, I guess since I'm older, I got the monopoly. That'd be, that'd be a, I guess, I guess pug's pulling a mutton then, huh? He just didn't know it. Speaking of mutton, hope that one fuck don't come back. They seemed all right, but, but I am the one and only mutton chop. For fuck's sake. Fuck the matter for yourself, Pug. Thought you knew. shit that went on your you're using that rag to clean up the counter and then you wipe the sweat off and you get it in your eyeball it burn real bad so so don't do that unless you like eyeball on fire if you like pepper spray and eyeball mace and eyeball that sort of thing bring you back for then you know do that kind like this side of face on fire do that holy shit couldn't for the left of me figure out why my damn face was getting so hot I was like, why am I, why am I, why am my face getting hot well, that's not just hot that's just that's burning. That's my face burning. Oh, shit, my eyeball's on fire. Why's my eyeball on fire? Oh fuck, you know what? I think I wiped my face with that rag. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't love doing the asparagus on this thing, but the other thing isn't full enough. I mean, it isn't full enough. Don't have enough room for, for all of the pieces. I'll just spread this out too. This ain't gonna work either. <laughs> I didn't think that that would catch on fire, but apparently it fucking does. Of course, I've never used that for that before. So don't, because that stinks. And apparently it will catch right the fuck on fire. Well, that doesn't smell healthy at all. Oh yeah, that's uh, why would they even put that on a fucking, what is that, steel wool? I just do that to get any cat hair off. Let that burn off. And it did take too long, and so I could probably use some more briquettes on there. Because, you know, I told y'all this charcoal chimney is smaller. I didn't realize that when I bought it. That's why it was so fucking cheap. It's like for one of those little personal fucking grills. You really need double the amount of briquettes, but we're going to try to make it work because I'm a goof. Because I'm a goof, so we're going to try. I'm going to put this in the freezer for now. Should have it on a rack so it can ventilate, but it'll be aight. I'm not supposed to slam the freezer, I'm a bad boy. No better than that. Clean up my mess here. Don't use this fucking paper towel to wipe my forehead. Look, they had blueberries, three for ten. Three for ten blueberries, right? So they had, they had blueberries, blelvets, a bluets, 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 I guess, B-L-E-U, B-L-E-U-T-S, and Welch's. Blue is, oh, that must be fucking just French for blues, because they all say blues, blues, and then American, so. Oh, this is always Fresh Farms, Welch's, and I guess American brand. All right, so we'll give them all a taste here. We'll give them all a taste, we will. Taste test! Let's get a paper towel here. Get a few and a few and a few. First impressions, 
the always fresh farms look the biggest whereas the American and the Welch's come in come in in a tie with a close second it would appear and just random handful not even handful random fingerful from the middle of the from the middle of the boxes gave me four five and five like I say I just tried to get the same and uh, like okay the the four the four from the the four from the always fresh all pretty firm this one's slightly squishy the Welch's the small ones are firm all these bigger ones are squishy uh, American brand which I've never heard of never heard of any of these but Welch's uh, their bigger ones are certainly firmer than the Welch's but they're not quite as big they're all pretty firm okay taste test we'll go for American first I mean excuse me fresh farms always fresh farms first uh, crisp firm outer skin uh, soft center not juicy not very sweet let's try a not squishy Welch's definitely more of a rubbery uh, skin a tart flavor uh, no juice American brand off the bat juiciest right in the middle between crispy skin and rubbery skin and uh, a little bit sweet Okay, uh, hands down, American wins the day. Always fresh farms in a second. And cash and checks. And Welch's comes in in a poor placement of third and was not impressed with the Welch's at all. But that day of marketing and advertising from all that grape jelly that I never could even eat because I'm allergic to sugar, but I see that and it still makes me want to buy that one. And that was the least, least tasteful. So, hmm. Meanwhile, I'm just letting the grill burn away doing taste tests in here while I'm supposed to be grilling food. I am such a goof. Just totally letting the coals burn away. Oh no, you're good, bud. You're fucking good. Okay, how about a pickle taste test? PICKLE TASTE TEST! <laughs> Alright, so uh... Now I have, I intended to open all these fresh on camera, but uh, I was not able to do so because I, God, I haven't filmed it yet and I had to eat pickles, so hush your mouth. Okay, so I got some Blasic, some Mount Olives, and some Great Value, which is the only brands that they have at Walmart, right? Uh, at least the Walmart I went to. And these are, I got Kosher Dill Gherkins, Kosher Dill Petite Snack Crunchers, Kosher Dill Gherkins, and kosher baby dills because I could not find Mount Olive kosher dill gherkins. So, okay, and let's just pull some pickles. Try to get a small, the smallest, uh, the smallest baby dill so it at least would be comparable in size, which should maybe uh, determine crunch a little bit. Okay, so we'll go for. Uh, Vlasic first, the classic, right? It's the little stork, the stork, right? With the pelican stork, what is that? Wants the crunch, whatever. So let's give her a try. Let's give her a try here. Mmm. Okay, definitely crunchy. Hint of garlic. Not a bad pickle at all. Mount Olive Kosher Dill Petite Snack Cruncher. Not as crunchy. Yeah, Vlask is kind of mixed between vinegar and garlic. Whereas the petite snacker, petite snack cruncher, sounds like uh, tastes like more of a variation of mixed of flavors. Those plus other flavors I can't identify. Probably a better tasting pickle, but not as crunchy. Let's try the kosher baby dill mild. Crunchier. Almost identical in flavor the petite snack cruncher but ironically enough it's crunchier than the petite snack cruncher but they're both baby dills 
or both kosher deals rather, by Mount Olive, so they taste the same. Best flavor so far. Let's try the great value. About the same crunch as a Mount Olive. Least flavor, flavorful of the four. Fuck, that's a mouthful. Least flavorful of the four. Cheapest of the four also, as far as price goes. Not a bad pickle. Not the best. So if you want super crunch, I'd definitely go for a Vlasic. But flavor with a sufficient crunch, Mount Olive, probably. Okay, taste test over! Yeah, I don't know if these, uh, I don't know if these child-sized charcoal things are gonna work. Son of a bitch. I had to finish this shit in the fucking toaster oven. Oh, I'm just losing asparagus right and left. Gotta get this fucker turned on, huh? And get it on and get it on broil. And then if, uh, and then if you're a good boy, you don't actually, uh, if you're a good boy, you don't actually, you, well, you don't actually even film the, the finishing of the, of the, of the steak, uh, the pulling off of the grill. You don't, you don't show that stuff. Because you're a goof. And, uh, and then if you're a good boy, you give both steaks to your old lady because she didn't really eat all day. She didn't really eat much yesterday because I didn't cook dinner yesterday because I'm a goof, so she had to go get sushi, which she said was good, but it's never as good as a home-cooked meal, right? And so, uh, and I could give two fucks about steak. I'm a hamburger man myself, so... I gave her my steak, and she ate that, and then I gave her her steak for lunch tonight. Packed it away. So she gets double steak. So it's all protein anyway. There ain't no fat on that, so it can't be bad for you, aside from the red meat factor. And who gives a fuck? We're only here for a minute.